go. Podcast since his special came out because I lost respect for him. Yeah, that's, I was like, I don't need to listen to you. You're f- unfunny me too. ass. <laughs> me too. Me too. I stopped. Completely I stopped watching. Stopped. Co- and I used to watch compilations. Yeah, yeah I used yeah. to watch. You know, best ofs. I guess compilation best of is the same thing. Mm-hmm. Clips, whatever. The whole mm-hmm. nine yards. It was all. I was part of the whole thing. Yeah. And then after that, I was like, you know what? That's Bro. that's fine. I. You know what it is? Mm-hmm. It's it's watching someone who only can do half of what you want. Mm out of a comedian i feel like it'd be like you go to somebody's concert yeah. like brother ali yeah and he just lip syncs it mm-hmm. and you're like no 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 no, you're a musician yes. and that's what i felt about the i'm like you're a comedian this is the thing you do on yeah. stage yeah you're so bad at it what's interesting though is that when i found out that uh you know excuse me drake doesn't write his own lyrics mm-hmm. didn't affect me at all mm. I'm still a drake fan okay yeah you could have seven people writing into uh, writing in the room mm-hmm and I'm like, yeah, I, I like my rappers writing their own lyrics. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, without a doubt. I think that's important. For Drake? Meh. It's okay. okay. I mean, you know what? If your lyrics are so good, how come you don't become a rapper? Why are you stuck in the writer's room? Drake's got something. He's a celebrity. Yeah, that's what. It's actually very easy to explain. But like, th- there's better. Ah, what? You, th- you, th- you think just because that wheelchair roll? That's why. I, yeah, I think it's uh, just his swagger. I don't think he's. If, that's what if, I'm saying. He's if what got you're the painting thing. is true, yeah. then yeah, he read, He has better rappers write for him. Yeah. It's kind of weak, right? You know what? It don't it's bother okay. me at all. Yeah, I'm with it doesn't you. bother I'm, me it's at Ramadan, all. I'm open right now. It, but it's a big it umbrella. Used, <laughs> it used to. It used to bother me, like in the beginning. Yeah. I'm like, no, it needs to be this way. Yeah. But I don't put Drake up against like. I don't compare him to Jay Z. I don't compare him to Tupac. Mm-hmm. Who's Drake your, is different. Who's your favorite actor? Like somebody whose movie you got to go watch. Yeah, but you're about to make a comparison that doesn't matter. But, for, but, but no, no. Yeah. I, you got to let me make the comparison right, before you go. jump to any let's stupid go. conclusion. Let's, let's say if Rocks, right. all of his movies are a stunt double. Right. <laughs> I don't I'm know. Not, that I'm, pretty sure, no sense. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he is. He no, does I'm, not, I'm saying even the acting. Yeah. Because that's the thing. The thing yeah. that the Drake, you know, the thing that Drake does. Yeah. It's written by somebody else. Actually, yeah, that is not a good comparison. I don't know. It is. I'm, I don't even have a horse in this race. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. Chris Rock has writers. I've I've never heard someone say greatest rapper of all time and then after put Drake up there mm. because that's not where he belongs. Okay. He's the greatest entertainer of all time. I like it. But as far as rapper is concerned, yeah. you, don't, you don't go anywhere close to that Mount Rushmore. True. Right? True. But I mean, you're going to be hard pressed to, to have that many bangers in your catalog. Yeah, but that's why it's, at, I, you know, you think it's so impressive. Yeah. You're like, those are his bangers. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, we don't look at Beyonce and be like, Beyonce wrote all her stuff. Yeah, but she's not a rapper. Why does rapper rapping require just that? Because it's supposed to be from the heart more so. Yeah, it's coming it's from, from the five streets. people's hearts. It's obviously Drake's. <laughs> yeah, it's from somebody's heart. God bless him. <laughs> like, know? it's not, he doesn't make the music. He yeah. doesn't write the rapping, but he sings it. Yeah. He's Beyonce. <laughs> He's Beyonce. <laughs> Drake is Beyonce. Yeah. And if you hate Drake, you hate Beyonce. I guess so. And you can't do that because no. you gotta be you gotta be open for all Say things, what you so. want about Kanye. Yeah. He's writing all that crazy shit. Yeah. Some of it is weird, some of it is it's, great. Yeah. He gets he gets some good, some bad. Yeah, Amen. 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 You, dude, there's plenty of people who 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 had ghostwriters. I'm sure. Dr. Dre had ghostwriters. I can believe that. In like, like the arguably one of the greatest albums of all time. Mm-hmm. Uh the hip hop albums of all time, Chronic two thousand and one. His producing is better than his rapping though. Of course, yeah. yeah. But like you know, we don't uh, we don't fault him for that. I don't fault anybody in that. Since I don't care about yeah. rapping the same way you do, yeah. Like I don't even. I'm like, yeah, man. Well, I, I don't care about. I used to care about it. Now I don't. That's the thing about youth. When you're young, you care yeah, a lot about music. Yeah. The authenticity. Like I want everyone to be like most deaf and Talib Kweli yeah. in common. Hoist the five nine. Yeah, Royce the five nine. Him too. Oh man, <laughs> two Brazilian different like Royce. Like no, Royce, Royce. <laughs> yeah. I love them all. You know what? I'm okay. I yeah. like it. I, there's a time for everything. There's Sometimes a there's a time for mumble rap. Mm. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. You put on mumble rap in the gym and you're like, I don't even, I can't, I don't even, I can't I don't even know one, but I'm sure I'll, I'll bow my head to it if I listen to it. Bro, I don't choose it, but I type in like gym hip hop uh-huh. and then mumble rap is like predominantly in the, in the playlist Ooh. and eventually start going. Have like, you heard oh, of Alt nice. J? No, I it's, haven't. It's a musical group. It's a bunch of white guys. Mm-hmm. I, I was listening to it. I thought they were from another country. Yeah. And then Spotify gives you lyrics. I'm like, this has been English this whole time. But they make noises. Mm-hmm. 
it's almost if a rapper uh on the ad libs yeah exactly <laughs> they just like left it at that and it's really good but mm. i was like oh they really don't care what sense they're not making isn't that called scat Are they like yeah like yeah i like guess jazz so. scat Kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. I right. saw uh, the Black Eyed Peas uh, write, uh, it's getting started in here. You it used to be, it's getting retarded in it's here. It's true. But even before that, it yeah. was like, ha, 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 ba, da, da, ba. And they came to a conclusion, it's getting retarded in here. <laughs> I saw them the making of that song. <laughs> yeah. And that's what Alt-J does. And I feel like people are t- taking that word back. Uh, retarded? Yeah. It's coming a little bit yeah, back, I but I don't, think back. It's, I don't think it's quite back yet. No, it's not back and yet. And I don't think we get words back. No. You get bell bottoms back. Yeah. You know, you get flares back and pants. Yeah. But well, you that's don't, fashion, right? Yeah, you no get fashion back. But I don't think you get a... you get words back. Right. Yeah. I get you know what what really did it? Mm-hmm. It wasn't just the word retarded. Mm. It was the fact that you said it on the playground, mm. but you also did the limp arm thing. Yeah. If you if you did it and it was enough of a separation between mm-hmm. you know a developmentally challenged person, right. then maybe you could you could have had the word, but like the People word really was always out. said yeah. with the chicken with the chicken wrist, and it was also like "duh," which is something right. you know. Yeah. You're just like, no, I've never heard. I've a never person, heard person with a disability go "duh, duh, no, duh." Never yeah, heard it. Only when somebody's like over exaggerating. Yeah, yeah, like, that's true. <laughs> last time I saw that was when Trump did it on stage. Man, he, he <laughs> man, jeez, that guy went full. That guy's a problem. I give everybody like some leeway. I'm like yeah. that guy ruins things. Then, uh, then again, I heard a clip where he is vehemently like taking down. I don't know. It was some debate, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Going to Iraq was a mistake. Mm-hmm. This many people died. This many thousand people died. Whatever." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "Hey, yeah, I can get on board. I can get on board." I've seen that. that guy in debate uh, be so sharp yeah. that it doesn't make sense he's very he's intelligent very good. and then that and every now and then it's like oh i didn't mean it that way when i said that about yeah, mexicans yeah, yeah. i'm like you oh, know exactly says, what you're doing bro when he says like uh you've called you've called women um like what was it he he called women something I don't know, like it was a, a like they things? went like so an interviewer was accusing him or bringing up the fact that he calls women like fat slobs or something right and he's like only rosie o'donnell yeah. And God damn it, dude. No, but I've seen him like an actual, like very important conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah. That too. Us, very the most intelligent line. Like his brain's not even dull. This yeah. guy yeah. runs on He's McDonald's and hatred. I don't know. He's just, just trolling. trolling. The time. Just trolling. Yeah. Well, he might, be, he might come back if, uh, if uh, Elon Musk gets his uh, gets Twitter. Uh, that changed yeah. since the last time. Last yeah, time it was yeah. 9% is what he owed <laughs> or he owned. And now he's like, I'll buy the whole thing for 40 when mil. When you're the world's richest Bill. man, you can... You're like, whatever. Yeah. Whoever is your problem, like, I'll buy you. Yeah. I'll all buy of you. you. And you'd be like, no, you won't. And be like, guess what? I just bought you. I'm <laughs> like, damn, you. you bought me. What do you need me to do, Elon? Yeah. I mean, if you if you did have a thing and then he's like, here's 40 billion. Mm-hmm. They, I, mean, I know they, not one person is going to take it up, but Twitter's board tried to, they're going to like try to do this thing where they're going to make every share so much more expensive if you buy or sell. Yeah. He can still buy you. Yeah. He's still if buying. he wants to, <laughs> just to spite you, he can. It's not like money ain't, a th- you know, literally, like, yeah. whatever. Yeah. It's not even a waste of money. Then you're valued at whatever Twitter's worth. Yeah. So it's not even... Nope. Yeah, I don't know. It's very interesting You're bulletproof if you're rich enough. I mean, you could almost do whatever. And then, I mean, once when you have money and then you have the power, like, you know, you're an oligarch status. Unless you're in China. Unless you're in China. They they still make people disappear no matter how much money you have. Right. That's crazy. Even even at the top, top. I would have to hire some Dai Li lover... What? What's up? No. Do Your you know? Eyebrows. Is there any updates with regards to the 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 lady, the Chinese tennis player? Yeah, they just brainwashed her. She's like, I don't, I don't know who said that. Oh, she came back and she's like, oh, she's like, I never posted. You know, somebody must have. Yeah. Wow. Dude, they straight up, my brainwashed that lady. Yo, I'm scared. Yeah, literally, yeah, you I should. Be. I felt like like a shiver you down my back. Should be. That is scary. Yeah. Because her, her initial message was so powerful yeah. that you, I know that's a person. That I mean, I don't wrote. know if she's brainwashed. They just brought her into a room and be like, we're going to kill. All of your family. Yeah, all of it. And uh, they take it back right now. She's yeah, like, yeah, something. Sure. sure. Something, dude. God bless that lady, Peng Shui. I mean, it sucks for her, right? Her tough yeah. situation. You know, you got to do that type of thing when you're mm-hmm. not living in China. Yeah, straight up. 
Yeah, right? you can't. You do can't. That while you're you can't in China. I mean, here's the thing. It's great that she did because mm-hmm. she brought it up. I guess maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, she was raped. What do you mean? Yeah. No, no, not the not the not the part that she should have looked for justice. Mm-hmm. I mean, in the manner in which she looked for justice, mm-hmm. because like you do understand that the consequences of doing that in China is like, well, anyone could have predicted this. Yeah. Right? It's true. But like... She knew exactly... And she wrote, like, I'm going to do this like a moth going into fire. Like, it was a very... What she wrote, I read. Yeah, but what I mean to say is this. Mm. You gotta gotta do it like like Edward Snowden. Mm -hmm. You find... You know, you know what you know. Right. You you gather all your information. Right. Then you go somewhere that doesn't have extradition to China. Right. And then you air it out. Yeah. Right? You can't stay in the belly of the beast. That's true. And then expose the beast. Right. Right? You'll pop you like a pimple. Yeah. I Crazy mean, times, man. You know, that's, that's it, tough. It's just interesting that while we almost know everything that we, you know, so almost nothing was known, right? Before yeah. the internet. Yeah. Like people would tell you stuff and that's what you knew. Yeah. You can keep anything a secret. And now even in this era, they can still operate that way. Yeah. It'll just make people disappear. Well, everyone's got a everyone's got a pressure point, right? They just need to find it and then apply enough of it to it, and then it won't be worth. It. Let's see how this whole Shanghai thing plays out. I don't think it plays out anywhere more than we just forget about it, and then that's it. Yeah, unless there is like a upheaval. Not enough no, people. I don't think so. They have a billion people, but it's not enough. No, it's not enough. <laughs> It's not, not enough, enough dude. People. It's crazy over there. Yeah, it is. Crazy. I mean, unless unless all of how far is Shanghai from uh, Hong Kong? Maybe they can join forces. Yeah, I don't think that's how that works. But yeah, no. Yeah. All of Shanghai moves goes to Hong Kong, mm. and then they say we're just gonna we're just gonna make this a democracy. Yeah, and there's no no COVID. Right. I mean, no, they're gonna have to accept COVID. But like, yeah. you know, maybe who knows? Maybe. Let's see. I don't know. I'm rooting for it. Rooting for, uh, rooting for the people. We're also rooting for. Um, hold on one second. We're rooting for the people. Right. Hold on. I didn't know. There's there's so many ways I wanted to go, and now I've forgotten. Let's go with. My problem is I just react to you. <laughs> so. No, no, it's fine. No, no, no. That this is no issue whatsoever. All, All right. right, we'll go. We'll go with a light one first, and I'll move it into. You know what? No, let's do basketball. Okay. Have you heard? Right. Have you heard? I know what you want to talk about. You want to talk about that? You want to talk about Paul George getting COVID? Oh, did he? Dude. His team is did he, did, do he, or die. did he do it by licking a popsicle that no. said COVID caution? Bro, his he missed almost all the games this season. His team got into uh, the play-in, mm-hmm. which is like the last do or die chance they yeah, get. Yeah, yeah. If they win this, they go into the playoff. If they lose, they're out of the playoffs. This a hole gets COVID. Yeah. I know it's easy to get COVID. Just stay in a bubble, Paul George. Your whole team depending on you. Yeah. I mean, it, you know what? It's easy. It's easier for him not to get COVID mm-hmm. than to get COVID. Is that true? 100 percent listen here my friend yeah you're very rich right right you can you can stay in one spot yeah anyone in your bubble is in your bubble and you can have like robust testing procedures in your own home it's true right you don't even have to do pcr you could do you don't even have to do rapid you can do whatever the better one is yeah 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 right you can do all of that you can yeah antigen you can you can seal off everything and, and then everything that comes in you, you can, can deliver everything. You can make a Disney bubble around yeah, you. Exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You can make a Disney bubble of uh, there's no reason why you should get COVID. Unless someone like ran into your house mm-hmm. and coughed everywhere. Yeah. And even then, my friend, mm-hmm. the coughing is not enough. They have to breathe there for a couple hours. Really like saturate it. Plus, his house is gigantic. Do you know how much breathing is required for you to be able to like get it to a point you where can someone... have multiple people in the house have COVID and still be safe. And still be safe. Yeah. All right. He he uh, missed the last game. It was last night. His team lost by five or six. I watched the game. I was just like, damn, Paul George. There you go again. Why did they pay you all this money? They pay him insane, like 37 or 40 million a year, dude. That's amazing. Like, I would, I would imagine you're saving, like, you're solving so many big problems to be making 37 yeah. Yeah, million yeah, dollars. Yeah, yeah. Like, nope, this guy played like 30 games this season. Kawhi, I'm glad he didn't resign with the Raptors. Yeah, he hasn't been healthy since. Okay, but here's the he thing: he almost though. missed the whole season. I think. Okay, but yes, he did. Here's the thing, though. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a potential that if he stayed with the Raptors, mm. the Raptors understood his injury better than most, mm. and maybe they could have managed his career and also his health better than other than other teams. True. Because because uh, there was a lot 
of there was a lot of credit going towards the athletic um what's it called the the physio and like that whole team that was managing his his uh his was it load management right they were doing his load management and they were doing a very good job mm-hmm. and they were still able to get this guy to go in and play yep. uh and and win a championship he should have stayed that w- that was the thing in my head i was like hey man i don't think so when you find a good medical team mm-hmm. that kind of understands you in a way that it's very difficult not yeah. everyone can come in no. and be like you know you could be a really good doctor but if you don't really understand a, a person, mm. you know, that extra 10% that you can gel with this person and like, oh, it you makes know, a help difference. this person makes a huge difference. Dude, Zion Williamson has played 85 games his whole career. Yeah. A it's, season is 83 or 82. So yeah. like this guy's in three years played uh, one season. That's insane. Yeah. He's also, young. have you seen him? Because he's, he's getting, he's getting roasted dude, by, <laughs> by the commentators. Chunky. I saw him in a commercial and I was like, who is, is that the basketball? It was him and Zach Levine. Yeah. This guy looked like a frat boy, man. Yeah. And here's the thing, though. Yeah. Right? We we have one of the best thick boys, or we did have one of the best thick boys hmm. in Kyle Lowry. <laughs> Kyle Lowry is a thick boy. He is a thick boy. He's got right? a booty on him. Big booty. God bless right? him. But won us a championship. Yep. But um, That's our booty. That's our booty. That's all and, of our booty. And also, here's the other thing. Um, that booty works. Yeah. That's a championship level booty. Yeah. He's putting his booty on the line. Yeah, he's that, on his booty. Also, here's the other thing. Yeah. True. He takes uh, the, the NBA, the, mm-hmm. mo- big, uh, the charges. most charges drawn in yeah. the NBA, right? Uh, but that is that is athletic peak booty, mm. right? Zion Williamson. No. That, that's off season booty. That's off season booty. And yeah. you're carrying it all, all, all the time. You're carrying this booty. That being said, still jumping and windmill dunking. I'll see you in a game. All right. I don't care if you're on Instagram. By the way, have you seen there was like a replay of him doing that? Mm-hmm. And when he jumps off to do the dunk, the the wood underneath his foot flexes. Jeez. <laughs> That's really powerful though. That's like matrix level shit. Yeah. Like, That's oh, like the, an anime shit. Yeah, the ground threw me. It's how how many friggin' What is the power level in Dragon Ball Z? Or Almost a, 9,000. Something like that. <laughs> and the rocks and pebbles start going <laughs> yeah. up. God dang, God dang. Yeah. Speaking of the Raptors, game one tonight. Game one tonight. Versus Philly. That's the team that we did the quadruple bounce. Yes. Kawhi shot we on. We did. I hope they get. I hope they have PTSD. Yeah. I hope they... I first hope ga- first game is there, right? First game is over there. I believe so. Yeah. We don't have, uh, we don't well, have yeah, that advantage. Yeah. yeah. So um, it is what it is. It's going to be interesting. That being said, very good news. Mm. No injuries to report for the Raptors. We got a young team. They're going all in. Everyone's coming. Everyone's coming. Yeah. OG's, OG's coming. OG's in. Scotty's Freddy's there. In. Freddy's oh, in. Oh, it's going to be great. Barnes. Yes. Oh, is I'm Gary? So excited. Trent? Gary Trent Jr., yeah. He's back? All right, good. All clean. We need all of those. Yeah, we need everyone. Yeah. Yo, Gary Trent had no idea who that man was before he came to the Raptors. Bro, but in, in your defense, you didn't know who anybody was outside of the Raptors. <laughs> Dude, I only know the Raptors and the people who play against the Raptors. Loyal. Loyal. <laughs> no, I like basketball, but no, I'm I'm with you. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. I barely was aware of the man as well. Yeah. Yeah. You and know, normal he, pals on Clippers now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That I knew, I think. I think because like it's still every once in a while I get posted on a Raptors in- Instagram yeah. situation. But yeah, dude, that guy's doing really well too. Yeah, he's solid. He's solid. Is he like averaging the teens every game? So Amazing. This is this is the situation. We're gonna have Embiid and Harden. Yeah, and they got a few other players versus like our full team. Yeah. And do you have a prediction? Do you think what's gonna happen? Six games. Yeah, I think so. Six I wanna, games. Raptors win. I want to take six games. Raptors win. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Who knows? I, I believe, my friend. I believe. Yeah. We've got championship pedigree. That's what they say. Yeah. Apparently, that's an important thing. I'll take it. I don't know. It just sounds great. You know the Lakers might go for Nick Nurse. Ah, they won't. Did I you hear I, about that? I heard even more breakdowns on how laughable that is. Really? Okay. Yeah. First of all, yeah. who's going to coach LeBron? LeBron coaches the yeah. team, right? How much space do you really have for you to be able to do coaching? They might but fire say- you. Yeah, like just exactly. like they fired this guy. Yeah, exactly. Let's say if they did, they don't have a draft pick for another three years, mm-hmm. right? So, what building are you going to do? Mm. Let's not also let's let's not forget, my friend. It's not that Nick Nurse is a great coach. Mm. It's that behind Nick Nurse is Bobby and all and probably the goat of of uh, Usai Ujiri. Yeah, I think you're hitting it right on the head. I think it's it's. The front office and the coaching. The players, I feel like you can get any time. Yes. There's a lot of them. Yes. But, but it's the big guys. Yeah. That's feeding you, who mm-hmm. believes in your actual way of basketball. Your method, your, 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 
what's it called? Your philosophy of basketball, mm -hmm. you know? And Toronto plays a specific philosophy. And now you're gonna get, you, you're gonna move to another team, and then you have to get the whole team to believe in it? When you have Fred Van Vliet that literally grandfathered in through Lowry? Yeah. No way. It's a very cool situation. Where you do have like a whole full grandfather yeah. way situation. Masai also, Ujiri. Sorry, I said Usai or something like that. Oh, did you? I got I it wrong. Masai Ujiri. Uh, I also think Nick Nurse is well paid right now. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think he's making good bank. Yeah. I think he's one of the most well paid coaches in the NBA. Yeah. He ain't going nowhere, my friend. No, he's yeah, stay put, he, Nick. Stays over here, brings another championship to Toronto. Yeah. That's it. He'll be. He, he might go. Go. You don't even, go if, if you just keep us competitive, I'll be very happy. I'll be happy too. Yeah, that's and then true. Maybe we just steal one. Some, you know, just need a few ACLs to tear along in a playoff, and you, you pop. You know, you get one. That's I mean, what I hear when somebody tears an ACL. <laughs> like, is that a? Is that us going to the next round? I think it might be. <laughs> Thank God uh, wants us to win. <laughs> Sorry, KD. Yeah. Your Sorry, Clay. Your attendance, your attendance. Hey, when they said that, it was like, oh, you're lucky? Mm -hmm. This is the way how I think about it. Your tendons weren't championship level. No. Your, your, your tendons, your muscles, your whatever, they weren't adhered to its joints and bones Yeah. with, with championship adherence. Speaking of adhere glue. Um, <laughs> you trying to do a long stretch? Yeah. Uh, did you hear about that lady at the Timberwolves game? No, which one? Okay, three days ago, Yeah, Timberwolves were playing. Okay. And then at some point, they look back and they see they, they see this. Let me show you this picture. They see this. They see this. What are you showing me? Point to it. Okay. Is that that lady down here? What's wrong with her? Right. So this lady yeah. gets on the court mm -hmm. and then tries to glue her hand on the court. <laughs> no way. In a form of protest for chickens. More, Damn. more specifically, mm -hmm. chickens um, that's owned by the owner of the Timberwolves. He owns like a chicken farm, right? And apparently, some of these chickens were 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 were, were sick. They mm -hmm. had some sort of like uh, disease or something, okay. and so they they put them in a room to like I guess gas them, okay, to die. Right. But some of them stayed alive, oh, no. and apparently, they just like tried to like light everything on fire. Oh, and so there were some chickens alive that were burning alive. That doesn't smell good. No, not at all. Uh, and uh, yeah, so so she tried to glue her hand onto the court in protest. Damn. It worked. We're talking about it. I mean, I guess so. But also like makes her looks like an absolute raging. I mean, it's a good thing to bring attention to. Yeah. But the way you're going to go about it. The is method. Like, Here's I'm the thing. I don't, the I don't know. I don't know. Of, <laughs> I don't know. Just, of the more any I think glue. about it. Like, <laughs> you know, just imagine running onto it. just like. <laughs> you know, just, I don't know of any glue that can fuse that fast because yeah. they just literally just lift her up and there was just a glue spot on the ground. Mm -hmm. Like what type of glue was she using? Elmer's. I guess. Yeah. You, you know, know what the funny thing is? Yeah. It's probably using horse glue. It's probably being, yeah, yeah this is not a closed loop, ma'am. No, not this at is, all. You're being one way or another. <laughs> you're using some animal product. And you seem stupid as sh Holy <laughs> shnikes, dude. I mean, you know what the, the, the thing is? Mm -hmm. It was only one of her. Mm. Normally, it's a bunch of people, right? And everyone's gonna just slap their hand on. The, right? I mean, no one. It's not normal that they will like protest at a basketball mm. game. But normally, it's a crew of people. Yeah. But it was just this one lady. Was like, whatever. I, what if she was fed bad information? I don't know. There was some footage that came from the owner's thing, and this is like the situation. Mm. But it doesn't mean that's the way how he treats his chicken all the time. That being said, factory chicken I, is not great. I'm not, yeah, I'm not standing with any factory chickens. It's just, you know, how you go about it. It's just like a, is that it? Is that how you were going to do it? I mean, I know she's got to talking about it, but like it's the dumbest thing you could do is glue your hand to a basketball court <laughs> and protest and be on the news. Vanessa is, she's, you know, she's stuck. She's it giving is, interviews. <laughs> she's peeing I mean, right that, there. that's if she was going to be successful. That's what she thought she was. Like that's, I like in her mind, you know, Dude, from the moment there. from the moment that people were pointing, and then where they picked her up mm -hmm. and walked her out, there was there was like maybe two minutes, a minute, two minutes. It's not enough time for the for this the. This is what I think should happen, right? Yeah. I think she needs to get a sponsorship. Okay. From like thirty second dry glue company, <laughs> right? She runs out there again. Yeah. And they're like, there she is. They pick, and then nope. She should talk to uh, she should talk to that lady who gorilla, gorilla, gorilla glued glue her, her, hair. her hair. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if gorilla glue. I, I've used it doesn't it. set. I've it used it. It doesn't set that fast no. either. No, you got to hold it for a little bit before it sets. You know what? She, you want to? Would be crazy. Mm -hmm. A nail and a hammer. That's commitment. Yeah, yeah. Then, then we listen. Let's yeah. go figure out what's going on with these chickens. I, I'd stand up for that. <laughs>
She got out there with a big. If she nail. went out there and just hammered her hand into the court, yeah, we we gonna listen. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, that would be the craziest thing. Yeah, I would definitely listen to that. Yeah, be like, what possessed this lady to do this? Yep. She could have just nailed a thing to the ground and ran away, and then explained her situation later. She didn't have to even nail herself. If there's a big nail that nobody's like, don't you have a hammer? Yeah. No. Shit. <laughs> you know, yeah, gotta you, gotta like, you gotta take at least a five minute break. Yeah. Trying to go get a she get just a put hammer. like seven nails down real quick <laughs> all over the court that are like almost in they're like seven foot, you know, like long nails, right? But uh that would have worked better. Yeah, it would have. I'm sure she's thinking about how she could have done it better. Oh, she has so much. She has to, right? She has Some to. time to think about that. When you look that stupid. Right? Okay. On the other hand, hey man, um, you gotta find a better way for I you to euthanize this. your chicken. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Uh, I didn't know about this. How'd you how'd you find out? Uh, my wife told me. No, I I watch the news all the time, yeah. and like the sports news especially. I, this did not pop up. You know why it didn't pop up? <laughs> They're, They're probably like, pushing it down. As, yeah, as, as much they as don't possible. want fans to start gluing their shit to shit all the yeah. time. So I went. I, I figured I would type. I typed in Timber Timber uh, Wolves space glue mm-hmm. in Twitter, and still the first top is just like they win, and then Patrick Beverly crying. Is the glue of the team. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, so um, that's that. No one was paying attention to her even while it was happening. Kinda well, you gotta set her, yourself you know? on fire, folks. People go to the bathroom during halftime, you know. Yeah, that's true, right? Do it during the uh, twenty-second timeout. That's yeah. what I would say. Twenty-second timeout. Well, there's yeah. twenty-second timeouts. There's yeah, yeah. a full timeout. You gotta do it half-time. right at the end of the the timeout because that's when people are coming back from the washroom. Yeah, yeah, you gotta figure this out, man. Mm. I'm with her. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, we don't, we don't, I don't want chicken to to, to suffer. No, I just right. want them. I just want my Chick Fil A normal. I haven't had Chick Fil A yet. I, I haven't out. had it either. Yeah. I am willing to step out of uh, because they're definitely a Christian company. Oh yeah, super so Christian. therefore I can have it. It's halal. Um, I'm hungry all of a sudden. I yeah, shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you you just spark, you just sparked it, brother. We almost yeah. had it. We almost had it all the way through. That's okay. We didn't stick on and just talk about. I think it's the mayonnaise they put on, and they put one pickle. You don't even you don't even know how it tastes like. How are you? What are you? What are you doing? I've, I've You're theorizing. I <laughs> looked at it and I smelled. I've smelled it. You're I've like been to a America. Kid looking at a Toys R Us catalog. I bet it. I bet with a pickle, it's got a really good... uh, That good bread. Mm. Jeez. Yeah. They have one in Toronto. They do? Yeah, they have one in all of Toronto. I think we spoke about this before, and then we did the rationalization that I just rationalized about making it halal that we can eat. We gotta go. We really didn't need to go, man. We can go. You wanna go tomorrow? Oh, I got an iftar tomorrow. Uh, We we can go. We can do it after Ramadan. We have... Yeah, we can do it after It's not going anywhere. No, it's not. No, it's not. That being said, this podcast is going up in four four weeks oh so really yeah this one yeah dude we're just talking about basketball it's about to happen <laughs> we can't do this so the reason this is going up in four weeks is yasin's going where are you going i'm going to mauritius the motherland motherland africa yeah yeah yeah. i didn't know this was a big thing uh, but when i told uh my you're w- african eh no no, no not you're really. not you're we're definitely indian. not yeah you're, you're super indian yeah we're indian never mind um you're just your family's all over africa I guess, but even then, I mean, like, it's just because we're close to the continent. Mm. Um, you don't consider yourself like, no, Mauritius? No, no, no Mauritian considers them African. Really? Probably half because of racism. Right. Um, but, like, we don't even consider ourselves Indian. Right. Because also, racism. <laughs> we're well, better. What do you mean? We got to be better. You, you're you the ones that are racist, by the way, when no, it comes to saying. India. Because India will happy you happily. You're like, yeah, those are our people that went over there. Yeah. They're like, no, we, we, we speak, speak French. So we speak French? We speak French and we have much better pastries, much better desserts. And that's all it takes to separate yourself from India. Yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, what was French I pastries. So I'm, I'm going over there. I didn't know it was such a big deal. Mm. Um, told, told the uh, the in laws that we were going, mm-hmm. right? And uh, apparently, bringing your wife to the motherland. Mm-hmm. This, you know, this is an Indian word for it. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what it was. I forgot, <laughs> like, I forgot, what, it was. I forgot what it was. <laughs> but it was like something like you're bringing your. And this is where really. Where the like the marriage really is a thing, apparently. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I didn't, I, I didn't realize that would make the marriage a real thing. Uh, dude, I just keep doing things, and then they keep pointing out, not just they, but like regular people, be like, okay, now it feels like it's real, hmm. right? I got nikad, that felt real. And then yeah. after that reception, after that honeymoon, yeah. after that, you know, moving it, blah yeah. blah blah blah. It's yeah. funny because, like, in the first one, yeah. you got married in the eyes of God. Yeah. And they're like, now you're taking her home. So that now this is real. <laughs> you're like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I so mean, anyway, it's a big yeah. Game. So I'm going to, I'm going to go for two weeks. Yep. Uh, but essentially, it'll, it'll, it'll amount to three weeks away from the podcast. Mm. And uh, we don't mess around here at Crash and Flow. No. We haven't missed a weekend 
in over half a decade. And ha- over half a decade, people. Yeah. So uh, we're not going to stop now. Uh, we're not going to start now. We're not going to stop. We're not going. We're not going to start not posting every Sunday, and we're not going to stop posting on Sunday. Both yeah. ways work. Uh, and that's that. And they'll also uh, say it is going somewhere. I got a work trip. Yeah, you're going to Mexico next Mexico. week. Mexico. Yep. It's a work right. trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you going to do? You, you're going to sell your product to the cartel? Uh, no, no. It's like a, it's like a corporate hmm. get people together from all the continents right, at right, a resort right. thing, okay, you okay, know? Okay. But I'll, yeah. Hey, you could, uh, if you have, uh, if you have a, like a Ritz. coworker or something, yeah. you can rent a car. Mm-hmm. And then just drive aimlessly through the back, the back, the they back have a baby country. Service. You I'm can actually saying. have like a Mexican woman look after your baby, at right? The Ritz, and then you can drive around. Yeah, kind of masjid. I don't know why you have to say that it's a Mexican lady. Well, I assume she. Yeah, it would be horrible. It's like a pole. I'm like, how, why is there other? I want an authentic Mexican lady looking after my kid. <laughs> it's like a Bangladeshi. I'm like, how did you? How did you come here? Yeah. How did you come here? Okay, good. So that's why. That's why it's coming, and that's why you're listening to this for 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 uh, weeks. Uh, later, all right. of our topics might seem really old. Inshallah, when you listen to it, you're like, damn, they were right. Game were six. Right. Yeah, that's my hope. Oh, I really hope so too. Yep. All right. People, thank you for hanging with us. We'll be back in a week. Take care. Good night. Go.